Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we want to bring you some news. So several things have come out recently that we just kind of want to hit point by point and kind of have a talk, a discussion about. So some of the things included are an article from Rolling Stone saying that Meghan and Harry are in their flop era. We want to talk about that. We're going to talk about Harry missing out on an important day with one of his supposed best friends. We're going to take a look at how Catherine wowed at Wimbledon. We're also going to take a look at how William and Catherine celebrated the 75th anniversary party of NHS workers and it involves Great British Bake Off and I'm a fan so I'm excited to get into all of this. But first I want to introduce my favorite co-host. Say hi. Hello this is Jay also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. You can find me on YouTube Twitch and Kick. I'm here to help talk about things and uh, you may have noticed yesterday Jen posted a video about wrinkly outfits and I got to see that and all I can think of is it's a job for Iron Man. Wow, nice. Yeah, there's Jay's contribution. He brought Iron Man. <laughs> but definitely go back and check out Wrinkled and Messy. That was one of my, I always say this, but it really was. I had so much fun working on it. It was one of my personal faves. Wrinkled and the tune of Messy. But uh, we are going to get into the news. I did want to acknowledge what the day was. Today is the Scottish coronation. Can't wait to see the pictures come out of that. I'm excited. I definitely plan on talking about it at length. So uh, it just hasn't hit the news yet. So as soon as that does, I will be talking about that. I'm very excited. Jay, you have strong opinions on this. What are your thoughts about the Scottish coronation? If it's not Scottish, it's crap. (laughs) Thank you for that. All right, let's get into these two lunatics, shall we? Uh, first, speaking of lunatic, can I just say, this picture haunts my soul. What's going on, do you think, on the right side of this photograph? Yeah, what's going on with the right side? This looks like a horror movie. Like, <laughs> is it a pod person? Or, I don't know this, um, can you get so much Botox that your face just becomes a mask? I don't know. I'm not even going to blame Botox. I think it's just lack of a personality or something i'm not sure yeah that's true on one of the other videos i was comparing her to zuckerberg trying to pretend to be a human she's like i know this is how people smile right (laughs) the left side of this photo isn't exempt either he always looks like zoolander or usually pretty angry so yeah somewhere between confused and angry also honk honky drunk goose club We're so glad you're here, Hong Kong. Mother Goose here. Silly Goose here with the sexy voice gander. Tell them what you did, sexy voice gander. Well, let's take a gander (laughs) at these notebooks. Uh, We had a few requests for notebooks and adapted the logo to notebooks. So you can take notes about how drunk you are with your goose in the club. (laughs) Hong Kong. You love our channel. But, uh, yeah, we put up a few colors, and these are available now if you so incline. Yeah. Additionally, we've also had some requests for long sleeve shirts and hoodies, so I will get to work on that. That should be something that pops up soon. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And we have had people ask about uh, having it printed on glasses. Unfortunately, the only option right now are the pint glasses. Um, That's something we'll keep looking into and see if we can find other options. But right now, that's all we can do. But a huge thank you to all who have placed orders. The response has been incredible. I appreciate you all so much. Honk, honk. All right. Meghan and Harry in their flop era, says Rolling Stone magazine. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have lost their 15 million pound deal. We know about that with Spotify. So as these two try to claw and cling on to, I don't know, fame, (laughs) uh, I'm going to show pictures of them clawing and clinging on to each other. Flop era sounds like they're trying to paint it like it may end soon. Many eras went for a long time, such as the Jurassic era. (laughs) Speaking of claws. Yeah, speaking of claws, like the raptor. (laughs) But much like the Jurassic era, I think we're just waiting on whatever the proverbial meteor is to finally send this meritless (laughs) attempt at celebrity into the Ice Age. Wow. Possibly Netflix followed by... Divorce being the ass age. <laughs> I mean, it's the writing's on the wall. Give it up. Uh-huh. And can I say, maybe the meteor was the near catastrophic car chase. So just another perspective. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in their quote-unquote flop era, according to Rolling Stone magazine. 
The U.S. outlet suggested they were going through a period of failure after losing lucrative deals with streaming giants, including Spotify. Part of the issue the Sussexes are currently facing is they have made their brand about their beef with the royal family. Now that their feud has reached a stalemate, it feels like there isn't much more to say, Rolling Stone reports. I mean, truly, what else is there to say? They really stretched it as far as they could. I mean, we started with, <laughs> as Chris Rock put it, in-law <laughs> in-law stuff yeah. and it got all the way to the point where harry wrote a book that included rubbing his mom's face cream on his junk <laughs> oh. i mean maybe this dead horse has been pummeled enough what would harry say about that my horse is oscillating oh. my horse is oscillating <laughs> The Sussexes are in a difficult position. Appetite is waning for content about their rift with the royal institution because digesting it in so many different formats now feels like overkill. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix this article for you. It, uh, they put themselves in this difficult position. It's, they have no one to blame but themselves. No one made them go on TV and tell a million lies and go on and on and on about what victims they are so (laughs) i say flock off but there isn't much enthusiasm for their other projects like the archetypes podcast which aren't about that and really aren't about anything what was that podcast even about it was um essentially uh, a bait and switch thing for the listeners and the celebrities in some cases (laughs) they would uh they couldn't even put in the work themselves. They yeah. they they had the the staff ask all the questions and then edit themselves in. I guess that's where that one hour of work uh, came in, uh, according to the IRS doc- documents. So, what's left to say? There's nothing left to say, and they don't have anything to say beyond that except for, I guess, Megan talking. Hey. Talk, yeah, well, yeah. Harry's got where, and <laughs> Megan's got me. <laughs> that's that's about the extent. That's all well and good, but you can have your wham, but I get the, look at me. She will never stop looking at me. <laughs> so I just looked at the screen while recording this and saw this picture. And can I just say, this picture so perfectly sums them up. She's dressed completely weird, bronzed all the hell. <laughs> She's playing look at me and, and I don't know, kind of tense (laughs) and then he is just confused as angry as ever so yeah i'd say this is a pretty good picture of them harry misses his best man's big day sussexes don't attend wedding of duke's polo chum jack mann who who featured in band of brothers royal wedding photograph so as harry said in his book his uh spiritual (laughs) best man uh was jack mann the best jack man (laughs) and so, uh, you know, what we're getting at is he uh, was he showed up to Harry's wedding as his best man, but Harry can't uh, be bothered to do the same. I mean, much like he can't return home to see his dad's once-in-a-lifetime or once-in-a-generation historic coronation, I mean, regardless of who that is, I mean, how often does that happen when it's your own dad? I mean, you couldn't you just show up? And, uh, but yeah, and even uh, Jen found some photographs of these guys. I mean, they appear to be friends. Uh, enough, at the same time, nothing gave me more fear than typing in Harry Jack Man into the Google uh, search, but it's safe. You can you can look to Harry Jack Man, and I don't care. I won't subject him to my singing, but uh, yeah, so what Jay was talking about with the coronation, he was physically there, but he was like in, out, not paying attention, making faces, and sponsored by Dior, question mark. How's that working out for you now? Um, <laughs> and can't be bothered to go to his father's, uh, well, and essentially his brother's coronation in Scotland. I just think it would have been hilarious if William had turned up and said, sorry, my brother's an ass. <laughs> I'm here. I got you. <laughs> oh, that would have sent Harry into a tailspin, further into a tailspin. I guess he just can't be bothered unless it's his court case or if he's being dragged out of the house by Megan for a photo op. Yeah. I mean, what, what's he doing right now anyways? He's, he's even putting in that one hour of work a week. <laughs> All right, let's move on from a storm cloud to a ray of sunshine. Catherine at Wimbledon. I know you saw it, but this is my Catherine appreciation post. My goodness, she looks beautiful as per usual, right? She looks amazing, and I just love that everything is tailored to fit her and not a wrinkled mess. Imagine that. Um, But no, these pictures came out. She looks beautiful. Of course, she's with her friend Roger Federer here, and... 
Uh, this comes on the heels of them making that ball boy and girl special that they did. So cute. So here's Roger Federer with his wife and, of course, Catherine, Princess of Wales, looking beautiful. But I wanted to pay attention to her outfit. Look how gorgeous. Perfectly dressed, wearing the bow that she often she sports to these events as she is a patron of AELTC, which is it represents all the England lawn and tennis and croquet club. Here she is looking gorgeous. Love the details. Always put thoughtful details into her outfit. Stunning. What else can I say? Yay, Catherine. And let's end on a sweet note, if you will. You know I love William and Catherine. I also love Great British Bake Off. So it's called, this article from Daily Mail says, The Kate British Bake Off Prince and Princess of Wales surprise NHS workers with 75th anniversary party. And they even helped to make the cake. Hey, so at least they made an appearance involving charity, unlike other certain charitable organizations <laughs> yeah. that have not been seen doing much of anything. <laughs> Anyways, the Prince and Princess of Wales were the surprise guests of honor yesterday at a tea party marking the NHS's 75th anniversary. William and Kate, both 41, arrived early for the NHS big tea party to help lay the tables, put the finishing touches to a birthday cake, and even try their hand at piping icing on cupcakes. Asked to help decorate some of the cakes, William was decidedly more heavy-handed than his keen baker wife as he piped on a decidedly generous helping of icing. Yeah, I don't blame him. That's what I, for you know, icing's the best part. I don't know what, I don't know what else to say. How else do you say thank you to people? Yeah, I'd be like, oh, here you go. Have, also, have, birthday horse. Yeah, it's like a, if you're doing a cake for a birthday horse, you, you you lay that icing on. Is that any good? He asked as Kate burst out laughing. The event at St. Thomas's Hospital in London was hosted by NHS Charities Together, of which William and Catherine our patrons, and television presenter Mel Gidroich, who previously presented The Great British Bake Off. I love Mel Gidroich. I did love her on Bake Off, although I am partial to Noel. Um, but yeah, she's a lot of fun. I've, I've been a fan of her. She was very funny on Taskmaster. If anybody watches Taskmaster, I loved her on that. So the NHS colors are blue and white, and Catherine wore this very cute outfit. I'll show you more of a full shot in a second. But um, of course, as a nod to the NHS, I just love the thoughtful details and, and everything that she wears. But what a cute photo. They look like they're having fun. I want to be there. I want to play with icing. I want to pet Catherine's hair. Yes. I rode in on my birthday horse, demanded all the icing, <laughs> got a little bit until I tried to pet William's hair. And well, we see how that turned out. <laughs> That being, they threw me in the Tower of London with my horse, and I was in horse jail for <laughs> <laughs> showing up uninvited. Is that why you're not in any of the pictures? It's just a fun moment. It's a sweet moment. It's a good way to dr draw attention to, you know, charitable organizations. I just, I love stories like this, and they look so fun and happy and cute, so... Lots of fun, but back to this mess. Uh, that's it for the news for right now. As more news comes out, of course, we will be talking about it. I'm going to be doing, Jay and I will be doing a separate video. We've had a lot of requests to talk about what Neil Sean was talking about, about making the queen cry. I just didn't want to include it here where we're kind of laughing at these two because I don't find that funny at all. And I want to do a separate video on that because... They're horrible people. Anyway, look at me with my scissors taped to my head. Um, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. We did end up doing a live chat yesterday. It was totally unplanned, impromptu. I will do more. We had so much fun. So Hong Kong, you drunk goose club. Make sure your notifications are on and, you know, we'll try to, we'll try to plan better next time. But sometimes when we just have some free time, I want to jump on and, just kind of have fun and talk to you all. And we did. We ended up talking for two hours. It was a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody who showed up and chatted along with us. But uh, Jay, tell everybody where to find you and what you're working on, birthday horse. <laughs> you can find me on YouTube as Dr. Bad Vibes and also on Twitch and Kick, sometimes streaming. I play video games, old stuff, and you can check that out on any of those platforms, YouTube being the priority. Thanks again for watching. Thank you again for the success and helping us to hit that 100,000 subscriber mark. I'm still in shock about that. I really, really appreciate all the warm wishes that were left. It really means the world to me. I'm trying to answer as many as I can. I, I just want you to know how much it means. It truly does. 
And yeah, definitely check out the Drunk Goose merch, Drunk Goose Club. We love it. Honk, honk. And listen, every engagement helps. So if you don't know what else to write, just honk at us. Or as Jay says, show us them honkers. <laughs> <laughs> but not in a crude way. Just honk, honk, everybody. Leave honks in the comments. We we love those. We appreciate them. They really they make me laugh. So thank you for that. And check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. As always, thanks so much for being here. Have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye.